Hello and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon where we finally have our Vestal. I'm so happy, I'm so pleased. We will rename this hero. I had it suggested that I should probably name my heroes after the bots that we have in IRC. I'm not going to. I'm actually going to name it after real people that we have in IRC. This would be Zeki. Zeki is a, a long time acquaintance on the old internets there. He makes um, pretty decent animations from back in the days when we used Flash for all those sorts of things and you're still making them in the same style which is very nostalgic and very much fun and this will be Dark Trojan. Apologies to both of you for the inevitability of your impending death. Nevertheless, this is what we have and this is what we must do. Um, we have a lot of crests which is actually really valuable. We, the last mission, although the last episode I suppose, although somewhat of a wash, did bring back at least a few things for us. For example, if we did this... Diddly... No. Why would I ever want to replace? If we did this, we can do this. Ta-da! Which is very nice. And let's see in here. 49 of 44. Although we're still pretty low in, in this regard. And we just use all of our crests. So what I'm going to do is embark on a level 1 mission. Get Zeki and Dark Trojan up to scratch for boss fighting. Mark. Marked. Pull. Knockback. And a stun. Well, they seem pretty well balanced, although you do prefer to be here, so let's do that. Uh, we will take Erasmus because Grave Robber for the lulls, although that being said, if we're going to do that, we should make sure that you can move back into a position you're happy with, and you will be happy in this position, but not so much in that position where you can only do that, so... But you can only do lunge from the back position, which balances out reasonably well, I think, because... You know, lunging and then being being able to lunge from here would be too dancey around, I think. So, I kind of makes some amount of sense. Can you be in the second position? In fact, you prefer it. I didn't turn uh Stun is okay. Do that. Yes, you actually prefer to be in the second position. But you can still heal from the third position for both of the things. Do I want this? Yes. The minus 20 dodge is actually pretty useful. Especially in the future. Although, for now, maybe just... You know, hitting stuff might be for the best. Uh, but we'll do this for now. As long as you can still heal when you when you get here, as long as you can still heal. Which means Dutchia is not going to do well in this position. But if we can give Martin uh, Erasmus, going to be doing that again, going to be giving Erasmus the quick draw amulet, he can jump to that position immediately. But then he won't be able to do the shadow fade. But I think that's okay because we've given him uh, the the things that we like to do, which is throwing dagger, and we'll probably take off poison darts, actually. Well, uh, maybe we just don't take Dutch. Dutch can come out on a different one. Uh, Sagiris, maybe? Yeah, we should probably take an antiquarian just to make it, you know, happen. And then you can do the things I need you to do from the front two positions, which is really good. And then you know, at least the Jairus is slightly more valuable than Dutch in the second position, and that's the important part there. Mm. So, good, good, good. Put some trinkets on these people. This is a boring part that no one cares about. Why haven't we got any bounty hunter trinkets? We have. Here we go. Move resist, move skill chance. Less move skill chance, but higher melee. I think we'll just give you a protection thingy for now. Or an accuracy, maybe. Stun resist. There is a stun amulet, and we have got a stun on this unit. Where are we going? I wish I didn't have to keep backing out of this. We're going to the cove. So you're going to be using mm, Blight a lot, really, aren't you? Maybe we should take Marie rather than Sagiris. But I want to get the stuff. Ah, it's really hard to decide. Because Marie obviously has all the, the sweet-ass plagued stuff, but that's at the back. But when we do that, and then she'll be at the back, and oh, it's hard. No, I think a level 1 cove should be okay. Although it is medium, so I should get on with it. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Although I didn't need to press back either, so what's happening? Help. There's not much human in there, though, so 
maybe not that. More accuracy range skills. More resistances. Probably good. Uh, so Gyrus. More damage versus beast. It's all Eldritch, I think. It's predominantly Eldritch. Maybe we... Uh, we don't really have any Eldritch... Um, you know, winning type things. More bleed skill chance, we don't really have any. Blight skill, no. Blight resist. Maybe some resistances would be good. And we will take the one that helps us with surprising enemies. Alright, less surprise on us. That is probably what I want. We'll never drink, that's fine. Less accuracy is not great. We've got a lot of stuff for having not been out very much. We've got Mankind Hater though. Uh, yeah. My brother is going to the brothel. Well, takes all sorts. Uh, let's see. No. Yes. Yes. With a Vestal, obviously you don't need that one that stops the heal from bleeding them, which is really good. 12 dodge, more accuracy, more stress. That seems fine. The dodge will help because we don't want to kill a second Erasmus if we can avoid it. Uh, I'd like a crit chance, to be fair. That's the one I want anyway. So we provision. Hooray! That didn't take more than a quarter of an hour. Medium mission. We take... Stack. Uh, might as well... You know what? Stop buying an extra two of those. The cove really needs shovels. A few hoibs. And then we want to make sure we've got plenty of torches because we don't want everyone to stress out. We've got plenty of money. And we have, of course, got our antiquarian to improve that. Um, we'll be making space as we go along, but of course we have to basically explore everywhere to make that work. We're going to take an extra four, because I'm scared. Because we can use it to heal, don't forget. Increased resistance to bleeding attacks. Basically, you can only blight these sons of a bitches. They have a huge amount of protection, a huge amount of blight resist. <laughs> Let's not start this again, though. Don't make me salty. Where's my lunge at? There it is. So, guess we can try this. Look. <laughs> that's not cool. Okay, well, that's a good start. Why is everyone slightly stressed? Can we talk about this? Why has everyone already got 28 stress? Why did we come here with 28 stress? And why are they beating the shit out of me before I've even started? Look. Uh, less prop. Nothing's got prop, but you've got high dodge. You've already got seven dodge and you dodge that first attack. It's just nonsense. Not that two should bring that one closer. It's got 10% move resist. And it's stunned so it doesn't get a go. Which is ideal. So, Jairus, you're going to make sure that everybody can... It's only plus three dodge. Yeah. Let's give everyone a slightly better dodge chance. And Zeke... I guess you've stun something for the next turn. This is not enough for me to be worried just now. If we can stun this unit, and for three damage, we didn't stun it. So that's okay. For a level one mission, this is a lot of stress on the very first step that I've taken. I'll pull it. Oh, I didn't pull it. This is worrisome. Like, this is literally the first thing that's happened on this entire mission. It's a medium mission. We do get to camp, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but at the same time... Help. Stop dodging! I've only attacked you twice! I've done two attacks. I've done three attacks, and two of them have missed. This is fucking shit. Pissing me off. Throne dagger. More accuracy. Is that a buff? I think that's a buff. Let's get rid of this. We did do some damage for once. Yes, yeah, a buff. So now we're more accurate. Keep doing this. I really need to use this mark a little bit more effectively. I tried to do too much on the first round. But being able to mark and do extra damage to the marked one means that if we do keep missing, we don't worry about it in the future. Why are you doing so much fucking stress on the first round? 
This is stressing me out. I'm only trying to play a game here right now. This has to die. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Right. That should at least mean we don't have to worry about stress. We can deal with the HP problems. I mean, come on. One to two. At least we're getting twos. If we get a one on that, I'm going to be a little bit salty. Right, we will mark... Wait a minute. Yes. But you can't collect bounty on it, so that's not really necessarily a good idea. It might be. I'm going to do this because I want to kill it. Mostly. me. <laughs> How much dodge have we got already? Six. That's accuracy on something? I think we just... Keep this up. I haven't put any real money into any of these characters yet, so... Losing them would be a bit of a shame, because I've named them all and I don't want to keep losing characters and replacing them. Especially the Vestal. You, get up here. Thank you. Do what you will. That's bad. But you're gonna die. So that was uh, fine. Having brought it forward, we can now properly kill it. I think I should heal. Nah, we'll let the vessel do the healing. As long as everyone's got this buff going on, we'll be fine. I'm going to make sure we don't lose Sir Jairus here with a proper heal rather than a party heal, although two units needed that. I feel like this one is slightly more likely to survive. Oh, you fucking did what now? Hmm, I guess we just try and uppercut this one and stun it. Prevent it from having its turn. Puts this one back in the range of the thing, but... We're not going to get to use it. We're going to use um, Erasmus to deal with that one. So we'll... Yeah, just keep it up. The dodges are certainly helping, so having that bit of extra... Um... Oh, okay. You've had your round. Having that bit extra dodge on top of what we're having is just avoiding that damage that's stopping me from just flipping the desk and giving up. <sighs> now you crit. Now he crits. Everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Erasmus. You dick. Right. Well, I guess we just punch things. That's decent. Can you just, like, stab it? You don't even have the stab. That's a shame. It's just no damage. That's the accuracy of the one that is unlikely to be alive. But that is unlikely to have died before it gets its turn, which is exactly what happened, so it may miss. It did. Don't know whether that's our dodge plus or it's accuracy minus, but they came together like all families should do. Um, and took no damage. Although here's another damage. Oh well. Can't win them all. That's fine though. I think I'll do this. Erasmus still has a go. And if Erasmus' shot does not kill it, then Dark Trojans next turn may kill it. Which seems brilliantly good to me. You properly heal Erasmus there. I'm very much concentrating on not calling people the wrong thing. Uh, I can't apologise enough, so I'm not going to apologise at all. <laughs> That's a bit mean. We're fine. Die. Right, that was the first turn of the uh, entire game. Welcome to the longest episode you've ever witnessed. Battle, no battle. You, open. Good job. I knew I brought you along for something. Found this though. So it was at least worth the, uh, worth the effort of fighting that. Oh, here we go again. I don't think we get any crabs at this level of, oh, I'm in the wrong place. Actually, this is fine. Thirty-three percent protection. We can use the deep prop buff from our new vessel. Stress wave is bad. We can probably deal with that character before too long. We need to camp already because you have taken basically you've gone from about twenty percent to eighty percent in one round, uh, in one fight. 
which is shit, and I hate it. Uh, I'm going to de-accuracy. I'm actually going to de-accuracy this one. I, I know it's not a turn. But, uh, this one, oh, it's also a stress attack. We can't uppercut that, no. So I guess we just mark it and hope that it doesn't attack uh, Dark Trojan again. Because then Dark Trojan will immediately have, you know, flipped out. That's a stress attack. It's 10. And a lot of damage. Don't feel like we're cut out for this. 9 or 50. Yeah. Might be hard keeping Sejarius alive here. So now we uppercut this one because it's likely to take the stun. That's exactly how that worked. We'll now lunge at this one. You can work from the second position, yes. We can kill it. We can more likely kill this one than I prefer to, I think. Perfect. Well, not perfect. That would have killed that one, but... Look. We've got to take what we can. I clicked on the wrong unit. That was my mistake. I realised as I was doing it that I was, you know, noobing it up, but that's fine. Now we've guarded that, which is okay, because I wasn't really concentrating on this yet. There's the explosion, which we haven't seen. We haven't actually seen that yet. Um, so, there you go. That's what happens there. Uh, three, two. I'm going to heal you. To keep you alive, oh goodness. So that's a very devastating attack. For saying that this is a level one mission... That is an extremely devastating attack. Luckily you're not bleeding. So I don't really need to worry about... Um... Oh, you didn't stun. That's a shame. I don't need to worry about you... You know, taking any bleed damage. But, like, how do we... Like this? I mean, it ensures that any hit will be on death's door rather than... But two hits, you're dead. Like that. And there's a bleed. And Set the stage for Didn't dodge it. But we can't keep up with this amount of damage. There is no way we can deal with this. Um, so you're going to have to heal you. What are you on? Two damage. Just to make sure that you don't die from this bleed. We're both at death's door. This is the second battle of this entire run. And I have not done anything wrong here. Like, this is a perfectly good party, except for the fact that this has been a fucking outrageous selection of enemies. I thought we'd be doing okay because all of a sudden we're on, you know, a, a very easy early run. No. No. What the fuck? What is happening? We're not dead yet. But I don't want to camp at the start of the fucking mission. We've got all that to do. And we still haven't found the actual friggin' motherfucking, you know, quest item. So you're going to attack. Okay. We just healed for seven. Does this stack? Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Get rid of that. Give them no quarter. We could immediately kill somebody here, which would not be great. I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh, you are taking the piss. Good. At least it makes sure the bleed doesn't... Oh. It missed. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. Every single time I come to the cove... We fucking end up doing every single fight at the start of it. Like, can you spread out the damage a little bit? Jesus Christ. Die. By which I mean, be stunned. What do we do? <laughs> like, DC could die immediately. Don't you dare resist this. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, that's still get over it. Hold 
past or expire. Mark death. Right, it's marked, which means we do plenty of damage to it. So all we need to now do is just not die. Still alive. Whew. And slowly building back up the HP as well. It's stopped bleeding, which is great. I'm going to use this. Oh, you joker. What is the matter with you? I know what's the matter with you. You're hopeless. But you're fucking hopeless. You're a piece of shit. I hate you. You could die on the next turn. He's alright. He's not dead. Not dead. Why not dead? Kill it. You can't do anything from that position, you noob. Good heavens. Don't resist it. Oh, it's fucking stressing me out. Alright. More dodge. Oh, doing what now? You have to accept one of these heals. Because you could die. You joker. You didn't die. How did you not die? How did you miss? We spent a whole round doing nothing because of you. I'm throwing things at the screen. You're a fucking dick, mate. Pissing me off. At least we stunned it again. That's really good. I mean, we could get out of this if you would hit the fucking thing and stop refusing the heals. How long has this taken? We're on 20 minutes already. I'm going to make another fucking... What are you doing, though? Right. Shut up. <laughs> I don't care. Like, do we leave? And driven into the mud. Maybe we leave. Let's use this. There's no point in not using this, right? Circle we'll eat all our food. The battle may yet be you won. are pissing me off. You're going to end up with a fucking heart attack. And you fucking well deserve it, you son of a bitch. What the crap are you doing? You're taking the piss. I'm not even going to try de-stressing you. You're fucking... You're on your own, mate. Has so anyone got a disease? You don't count. This is a resistance. It's a death blow. So you all have a one third chance of dying. I'm tempted to just go. But also I'm tempted to let Dark Trojan fucking well die. Because he's a dick. Jesus. How much stress did he take? It's a ridiculous amount. Interesting. Many resistances. I'm not going to use it on you because you don't deserve it. I guess we use it on... Erasmus? Time cost one. I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. So you might not actually do it. I guess we try. It did work. Um. Everyone takes less stress damage and reduces stress a bit. Uh, one person reduced stress a bit. How come you didn't... It didn't... Oh, one companion. My mistake. Should have done that. All companions. We'll do that. And you don't get to do anything because you're a dick. Where did all that stress come from? In Radiant, I'm out. This is bollocks. <laughs> what the fuck? I only did this mission to get these sons of the bitches up to level. And it's another one of those code missions where the first thing that happens is we get the worst fight we can have. And it's really... Uh, it's so depressing. It's disheartening. You know, you, you think you're going to go to a reasonably easy mission. You've got plenty of, eight, you've got plenty of attacks and you've got some good... Um, it was a yearning, a we had blight that could if we got the opportunity to use it, but the first fight just went so terribly, terribly badly. And I don't know what to do about it, you know, it's not like I could have done better at that fight. Everyone was just constantly missing all the fucking time and taking all this... Like, Dark Trojan has got max stress. Zeke has got max stress. We've only just picked up Zeke. And he's got max fucking stress. From one fight. That's the 
that's the irritating thing. One fucking fight. If it had been by the end of the mission, then sure. But for the whole thing to be that stressful for the entire party, it's just on a level one mission. It's a ridiculous amount of stress. Let's put you in here. I should have put you in the brothel because you have that thing. Erasmus, you're probably coming on the next mission because I hate everything. Well, I'm just going to end this mission. <laughs> this is just so stupid. Why can't we have something that we are actually capable of doing? Look, a short apprentice mission. That's where we're going ne No, that's not where we're fucking going next time because we need our healer back. So we won't be doing that. So what are we going to do? Shut up. I don't care. We'll do something. We'll take our level 4 people on a level 3 mission. We'll just try and get some some morale back because that has been extremely stressful. I mean, I know it's a hard game. It's supposed to be difficult. It's supposed to... Like, your units are supposed to die and they're supposed to die permanently and they're supposed to get very stressed out. But a level 1 mission is not supposed to be that fucking hard. And it was the only level 1 mission. Right? It's not like there were opportunities to do different things. You know, there's... There's plenty of room for more missions, so I'm surprised that there's only two of each. But we have to get these people leveled up to do these level one missions, which are the boss missions. So as long as the only thing I can take these people on is this fucking cove mission, we're kind of constantly not actually be getting any benefit out of it. So now we're looking for not only the fact that we have a Vestal to help with the healing, but a mission we can take the Vestal on so that the Vestal's you know, stress doesn't just cause us to leave. You know, we need to find a level 1 mission that we can actually achieve with a level 1 to level 0 party, which is just not happening. I mean, uh, okay, everyone was level 0. That was probably not the best thing to do. But at the same time, you've got to start somewhere. You know, we started with level 0s, and now they're all level 5s by not fucking dying. Everywhere they went. Well, okay. Rant over. Thanks for watching. I hope that you're actually watching for the parts where I get stressy and rant because that's how it's going to be for the next forever. If it's not why you're watching, then I suppose you should possibly rethink your priorities. But until the next episode, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Ah. <sighs>